let Jess go first. Have you, you got a best bet uh, around 11 or around 12, sorry, Jess? I really struggled with this one, but I just thought I'd multi up the Hurricanes, Crusaders and Blues. I think they're all good things and they'll all win, so um, multi them up. I'm not sure what you'll get. won't be too much, but maybe around the dollar seventy mark. Yeah, no, that, that's always a good way to go about it. Um, well, uh, how about now that this is the time to turn the volume up and uh, <laughs> get, get the ears peaked, uh, listeners? What, what's your best bet this week, Richard? Uh, I'm in an hour in between the Reds and the Brumbies. I'll go Reds minus four and a half. Um, I think it's always dollar seventy five when I check these today. I just think they're um, in Queensland. They'll be far too good for the uh, poor, poor Highlanders. I'm going with the Brumbies, seven and a half. Like, yeah, I think the Chiefs are very capable of winning it, but I, I don't think the Brumbies are going to be blown out. The Chiefs probably, given the state of their pack, they're, they're not going to you know, be happy to just get the full points and go on. They will want to put up a performance, but against this Brumbies team, you, the win's got to be the first thing. So I think yeah. Brumbies are very capable of keeping that within the seven. Um, I've already tipped my value bit out. It's Blues 51 plus at eight bucks, so I get your weekend started the right way. Uh, do you have a bit of value that popped out to you, James? Oh, I was thinking that um, Brumbies 1-12, to 12, I feel like that game's going to be close and wouldn't surprise me to see the Brumbies come out on top there. Um, I think we all agreed in the preview, but um, it is going to be a super close game and um, the value around that is um, pretty juicy. Nice so, one, what, what's your value, Richard? Uh, Crusaders, uh, winning point, winning team and margin, 10-point market, 21-30, to 4-60. Um, yeah, as I said, I can I can see so has putting a few points on. I was I'm in an area between the twenty one thirty and the thirty one to forty. Um, I know the eleven to twenty is a oh, favorite yeah, of yours. Yeah. Um but no, nah, yeah, I like that at four dollars sixty. I know, I'll just switch things up a bit here because we've obviously got bonus back running on every game again this week. We're winning team and margin. If you get the team right, but the wrong margin will refund you up to fifty dollars as a bonus bet. James already tipped out the Brumbies as a uh, potential one to twelve bet there. I actually think the Crusaders one to twelve is just worth a little nibble at the four dollar price there. Like you know, it's it's the Crusaders against the Force. You're not going to be shocked if they win it by thirty, but just given the Force record at home, you feel pretty good about at least getting a bonus bet back. And that four dollars seems like a nice price to me. Um, well, Crusaders have been a terrible betting team, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I think that mm. it's actually not a bad not a bad shout. We should start awarding a bonus awesome. point if teams cover the start. I reckon just to keep <laughs> to the interesting betting wise. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but that, um, the other one for that bonus bet one is the Hurricanes as well. I thought mm. we I think we touched on it before, but Hurricanes one to twelve, fair bit of value around that. And like that Crusaders game, you're not going to be surprised if the Hurricanes do end up winning by a bigger margin. But um, I feel like there's a bit of value there if um, Drua can keep it within it. Yeah, and it's always fun to cheer for the Drua to throw the ball around and score some tries, even if you are a Hurricanes fan like us. So. Yeah. I think that's a that's yeah, a nice I one. I think I'll be going on to that game, so yeah. I might, I'll be hopefully in the stands cheering them on. I think but I'm, not by the winning did too much. Yeah, I think I'm taking my mum for Mother's Day. Shout out, Grace. I know, yeah. I know you're listening, so yeah, I'll be there. I, I might need one of those 50-50 scarves or something, but if supporting <laughs> both teams, it should be a good day out. Um, were there any other bonus back bets that jumped out to you, Richard? <laughs> no, nah, yeah, Hurricanes yeah. 12 was mine, $3.80. Oh, yeah, cool, cool. And um, I'm taking the Brumbies as my upset alert. $3.10 looks a very nice price there for a team that's pretty year one at the moment. Who's your favourite underdog? Yeah, yeah, sign me up. I think Brumby's a great bet. Um, I'm looking really looking forward to that game. Uh, I think that they'll they'll push it. And yeah, I think if the Chiefs do win, I think I don't think it'll be by more than yeah, 13. So it's probably another another bad bonus bet game mm. if you're going to take the Chiefs to go one to twelve. Yeah, for sure. And are you completing the traffic to, with the Brumbies, James, or putting someone else on upset alert? Or oh, Moana. I've already gone the oh, Brumbies yeah. in my value, but um, upset alert Moana back at Mount Smart sold out. I've heard. Maybe um, <laughs> everyone will be behind the Moana, and we know how much energy that side gets from the crowd. Or that once they start chahooing and stuff, they they do get a lot of energy and they enjoy big hits. And um, I think the Waratahs will, might play into their hands a little bit. So I'm yeah, looking forward to that one. I think that one's going to be a good one.